Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to make the crushed ice effect and I'm using the perforated mold from Molds and Shapes because I want to crochet a basket afterwards. So I start mixing my colors and the first color is my white. It's a white crystal from Etta Art, but you can also use the Inuki from Octopus. So Etta Art is not available in the US or Canada or Australia, so just use the um, Enoki from Octopus, it also works. They are quite similar. I work with both um, of the whites for the crushed ice effect. So you saw me spurting some of the white into my cup and I'm just stirring it very well. Yeah, um, I hope you don't mind, but I thought i show you how I'm doing it and... Um, yeah, how I mix my colors. So I was quite curious if the crushed ice effect could work in this mold. It's eight millimeter deep and it has these, um, I don't know how you call them, these things, you know, that creates the hole at the end at the in the final product. And I think that the resin will work a little bit different than in a normal mold. So my second color is the gray purple. This is a resin ink from Etta Art, and you can find a very similar color, I believe, also from Octopus. Just have a look. So, anyway, this pour is inspired by Stefania. Um, Stefania, I don't know if you are watching this video, but she was in the chat group and she was wondering if it works. So we both worked on it. And this is my version and I thought I'd just show. So she really inspired me trying the crushed ice effect in this mold. So here I'm just mixing my color. Just make sure that you don't have any streaks in your resin of the color. But it also sometimes happens with me. I think for this particular design it's not as bad, but always try to make sure you can mix the colors proper. And this is now octopus, it's a teal. And for the people who have Etta Art, there's a similar color from Etta Art, but um, I'm not sure which one exactly. You just need to check, yeah. So this is the teal from octopus. I went with a few drops and I'm just mixing this as well. So now I can take my mold. I hope you can see it proper. Yeah, I think it's okay. And um, the mold is from Molds and Shapes. I link Molds and Shapes into my description box. I also link um, Octopus and Etta Art in my description box. And for this pour, I used a very low viscosity resin. So you can just use the resin you have on hand. And you see, I'm just pouring my white into the mold and I'm trying to make sure that the whole bottom of the mold is covered. So I let it spread a little bit. It's not right at the edges, but once I will place my teal, it will run to the edges. But the base bottom um, is covered. And the rest will be covered anyway once I have my piece out of the mold with the threads from my um, crochet. So there I am not really worrying. And now I'm just pouring the teal. And I saw that I miscalculated the mold a little bit. And I, um, yeah, I'm almost at the rim. So now I need to be very careful. And I'm just pouring the gray purple 
on top of my teal color. I was not sure if those colors are mix mixing well with each other, but I thought I'd just try it. So, and now there's a little time lapse where you can see how the resin is moving. The edges are quite white, but it's really moving very well. And then I just put some glass stones into the center. The glass stones were from Etta Art and from Laura's Art Corner. So, yeah. <laughs> and this is the next day I can demold. It's a quick video, I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just curious how the end result is going to be. So let's have a look. I was quite positive. And look at this. They are very pretty cells. I'm not 100% keen of the center, but the um, crushed ice effect really worked well in this mold. But I must admit it worked also a little bit different than in a normal mold. And I think it's because of the holes or the preparations for the holes. And I will show you the final result with the basket. I'm not going to show you the crochet because I think there are many videos out there on YouTube where people are a little bit better than I am with the crochet work. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the end result. And with this, I love and leave you. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.